Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and I appreciate you stopping by to check out my video and today we're just doing another quick test drive here with the BMW M4 a great looking color. This is definitely my favorite livery with the BMW. I love this jet black with the with the red and the blue and all that. Oh, what a, that's a great looking car. Um, so let's get it and see if we can make a few laps. And of course, the tires are stone cold, so you got to be careful. Listen to that thing. <laughs> Low tire pressure. Stay away from curbs. Again, first gear is kind of useless. Definitely makes a lot of noise. <laughs> I don't mind it. Again, try to get some heat in these tires. Again, set for seconds like first. <laughs> Almost everything is a, seems like a gear higher with these cars than like a GT3 car. Love the downshifts. You hear them downshifts? <laughs> Again, ACC just keeps getting better and better. Heating the tires already. I haven't made any laps at all in this car here, so <laughs> excuse me for. Maybe not hitting it just right. A little bit too deep in there. But again, you know, you don't want to, you definitely don't want to turn and brake at the same time. But you see, when you drop to second, it's a huge difference. I mean, you go from third to second, it's like, so it's almost like they don't want you to Go into second unless you're doing a super tight hairpin turn or something. Because, I mean, it's too low. So you definitely got to get used to these gear ratios of each of these cars. Are, they're so unique. They really optimize them as far as, you know, performance. And what I mean by that is just, you know, taking the corners at what gear is the best you can. And it's always a compromise. Good motor, though. I mean, it's very, uh, very linear. Seems like it pulls pretty good everywhere. We can do a better lap. Of course, I got all the cars at 50 liters, and I, you know, turn them down and uh, turn the steering ratio down. But this is all aggressive setups. Oh man. 
man. That was way too deep. <laughs> Definitely a different sound. It's unique, for sure. Which they all are. But, um... Of course, you know, these GT4 cars are more like their street brothers. So, they're, you know, a lot more, um, how should I say? A lot easier to, they're easier to drive in a way to me. I mean, you know, they go over the curbs a lot easier. They're more forgiving. You know, obviously everything's happening and happening a lot slower so you have time to react to stuff so I mean to me they're a lot more forgiving than the GT3 car you gotta drive them maybe a little more but but things are happening slower so that just makes it fun that's it that makes it fun you get to you know you got to drive it a little bit but it's not you know things are happening so fast and it's can be difficult. Let's see if we can do one more lap. See if I can get a decent lap. Jesus, I can't get. I mean, either two third gear is wound out or fourth is too low. Go, that's better. Crazy downshifts. <laughs> balanced though, pretty balanced. I mean, really, I, I like the M4. Like I said, you got to just all these cars. You just got to drive them, which I, I, you know, again, makes it fun. Whoa! I think that's maybe. I see. It's just such a drop. That's why I say almost all these GT4 cars just they love third gear. I mean, they're all set up to be a third, you know, third gear. Unless you're in some tight chicane thing. Yeah, not as fast as I am in the other cars, but it takes some getting used to it. It's so unique. <laughs> I love those downshifts. <laughs> Take a quick look. Great looking car. Again, one of my favorites for uh, the BMW. Um, I love this livery. I like the factory paint one too. That really, really nice. They got some really good liveries for the BMW, so I'm I'm really uh, happy with that. And do something a little different. Let's watch just the last lap for the replay. Let's see if y'all like that. Kind of get an idea of what you can hear it, hear it there too. See how much the car moves. You see it understeering like crazy. <laughs> I 
That, that's what they mostly do is understeer. But that's why they're, e they're a lot easier to drive. I like it. I like driving it. It's fun to drive, just kind of relaxing compared to, you know, the GT3 cars, which are so uh, mentally, you know, tiring sometimes and just things are happening so fast compared to this. I mean, I went from this to, to the GT3s. It's just like, you don't realize, it's like, wow, <laughs> what a difference. A great car. I love that M on the roof. That's really nice. Love the downshifts. Look at that. Gorgeous car. Man, ACG just nails these things. They do such a great job, Kunos, and all the devs there and everything. Sounds great. But I sure hope you enjoyed the video. And please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the bell and uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody for any support and any feedback or comments are greatly appreciated and uh, I hope you come back and visit soon and you have a great day see ya